Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to import our list into our software. So after it's set up, you need to go to the left sidebar, go to contacts, and then contacts smart list. And basically, you're going to import your CSV file. C is in cat, S is in Sam, B is in Victor. Now, if you have Microsoft Excel, it's a very easy way. If you've already got your categories going, basically, it situates every, everything out in different fields. That's really kind of the whole, I don't know if you want to call it magic, but the whole whole real way that it works, right? It sets, sets it out in different fields. Now, if you have uh, QuickBooks, House Call Pro, Service Bonds, any of those companies, Marquette, any of them can transfer out your data very easily into a CSV file. It's the most universal file for this specific type of thing. All you have to do, if you don't know how to do it, call the company and ask them, but it's really easy to do. Now, if you have a file and it's not currently in Excel, or if it is in Excel or any type of a file like this, all you have to do to make it into a CSV file is save as, and then make sure you click down and then save it as a CSV and then just save it. Now, if you're wondering if it is, all you have to do is look at the file extension and you should be able to see that it's called C .s, or C .csv, right? So that's really it. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and upload our little list and it's just a little test list with two different uh, fields in it just to kind of show you. We're going to click here. We're going to select the file and we're going to upload it and we're going to show you what it's going to be asking for is different uh, kind of categorizing what it what it actually is. Now let me pull up that Excel file again and show you because I went ahead and called it up the top what each thing was. The name, the address, the city, the state. Now you can call it whatever you want to or you don't even have to have this top level. You can just go ahead and select it by what you know it as. Like you, Obviously this is an address, obviously this is a city and state, but at this point it sort of selects itself because of what I called it. So name, and this is going to be the full name. Now if you do have a first name and last name, you might want to have different fields for first name and last name. That's up to you. Uh, the address, the city, and the state is already there. Now zip code, it's called postal code here inside of this. Now phone, keep in mind that the first phone is, that they actually pick is the one that Twilio we, will use to text and or do voicemail drops if you want to do that. So keep that in mind email now every record does either have to have a phone number or an email in it for it to actually populate into the system if it doesn't have one of the two it won't go in it won't work at all you can't just have a name and an address you do actually have to have a phone number or an email as well now here's the other thing that we've got going on is we've got two different categories that we want to call this at this point it's because those were actually on the excel sheet we've got we want to let them know that they're they're a pet owner so we've got those tagged and the type of floor that they have we want to go ahead and mark that and we can actually put that in here and later on send them emails and texts based on if we'd like to and that's a little bit more of an advanced feature thing that you can set up but that's possible so we're gonna go ahead and call this a tag which is gonna be down where is tag yeah there it is tags and, and let's see, you can also have fields for everything else too, a lot of other things, and even add more fields if you want. But company name, if it's a uh, business, which, you know, their website, other notes, if you want other notes. In fact, we'll probably have the other notes just on that other one. So, um, but here we're going to call it a tag, and that's going to be tagged as a pet, right? And then we'll go ahead and call this, well, we can call this notes if we want to. Uh, that way you can, now here's the other thing, if you're exporting older like records from past like jobs and you can actually have that into your excel file if you can actually export it that way some systems might let you do that you can actually export those notes about past jobs like the amount that you charged and what you did and that type of thing you can actually export that by selecting notes and having that into a field uh, but this other one we'll just call this one another tag and just show you how to do two different tags we're going to click continue and it's going to show us and kind of walk you through the two. Uh, a tag is for pets and another tag is for rugs. And here we go. Now it's going to ask you, it's going to recommend that you update them with the data in the document, but only for fields that are empty. Um, it's up to you for, depending on how you have everything set up, you can update them. Um, even if they already have a value, the newer stuff will be um, basically the the thing that's added or don't modify them at all you can do that but we probably want to update them with the data just as it's selecting again there's different ways to do that depending on how your list is done so 
we're going to add the tag. We've got one for pets. We want to go ahead and add that. And then the other tag, there we go. So we've got, we're going to call those pets and then it's got another tag for carpet. And I wonder why the other one isn't actually here. And so here we go. Sometimes I'm not exactly sure why, but sometimes you have to click off of something else and come back in and you can actually see. I think it takes a minute to populate. If it's a big list, it might take even longer. So here we've actually got the tag for pets. In other words, we just want one tag to call everybody pets. And the other tag is basically to let them know what type of flooring that they have. And you can actually email people later, or text people later, based on that tag if you'd like to go that route and do it that way. So there you go. It's pretty simple. You know, the thing is, play around with it, upload it. The big thing is that you need to make sure that everything's in the right field, separate fields. Um, do it that way. If you'd like, I'll even send you this, or maybe I'll even install this on the on the page just to make sure that you guys can see that if you need an example. Um, but basically, again, so simple out of QuickBooks or any any program, and it just has to be a CSV file.